The last year has seen America give birth to the Tea Party movement, a grassroots right-wing political movement, wherein the people of America rally together and fight against their own interests. It has also seen a resurgence in bedbugs. Most people don't see a connection here, but my astute and analytical mind, it does. You know, I didn't even think bed bugs were real up until four years ago. I thought it was just some shit that your parents said to scare the fuck out of you before they tucked you in at night. Good night! Sleep tight! Don't let the bed bugs bite, you little faggot! That'll teach you to talk back, young man! Have some nightmares about bugs crawling all over your skin, gnawing your cute little flesh off. But apparently, bed bugs are a very real thing. Unfortunately. Just like Tea Party protesters are a very real thing. Also, unfortunately. And just like I didn't think bed bugs actually existed, I never would have imagined that a grassroots conservative political party would emerge in America, especially not after the Republicans fucked up so bad under George W. Bush. The bedbugs, they no longer respond to the conventional pesticides. The only pesticides that you can use to kill the bedbugs are pesticides that are dangerous to human beings, things that fuck up our neurology. It's the same way with the Tea Party protesters. All of our conventional means of dealing with conservatives, you know, logic, reason, facts, none of that works anymore. Not that it ever really worked to begin with, but at least it could contain them. This Tea Party is floating around our zeitgeist like a corn-encrusted turd in the punch bowl of our collective unconscious. If a virulent pest doesn't respond to the conventional treatments, and all of the unconventional treatments are unpalatable. What do you do? I don't know if bedbugs have queens, but I do know that the Tea Party movement has queens. Rand Paul and his daddy Ron, Sarah Palin, Glenn motherfucking B all of whom have brought closed-mindedness to a science Whose fault is it? It's ours. We got our guy elected to the White House. We got our guys in the Congress and the Senate. And we have allowed them to do nothing! You voted for change, America. Change you can believe in. But then, you didn't believe in it. It's not the responsibility of one man to bring you change. It's your responsibility to change things for yourself. And those Tea Party idiots, they're the only ones out there doing it. The people who are still reasonable, still bright, still intelligent, they're sitting at home watching this video. They're not out there on the streets with their signs, getting their message out. My question is, why not?